These people in China are desperate. Many of them have put their life savings into a company called Evergrande. It's unclear if they'll ever get possessions of the homes they've paid for, or if they'll get their money back. Evergrande is one of China's biggest companies. Its real estate arm owns more than 1,300 projects across almost 300 cities. But it's not just property. It's building theme parks, makes electric cars, and even owns a football team. Evergrande has financed all this by borrowing money to the tune of $300 billion. But since last year, when authorities made it harder for real estate companies to borrow money, Evergrande hasn't been able to make the interest payments on this debt. And things have now hit a crisis point. Why do we care if Evergrande fails? builds about 600,000 homes a year. Many of these are bought off the plan by Chinese citizens, buying their first home or investing in property. Then there's all the companies that do business with Evergrande. Construction and design firms, building materials, suppliers and so on. The ripple effect is huge. If Evergrande goes under, this could send shockwaves through China's financial system. The financial fallout would be far-reaching. Evergrande reportedly owes money to around 171 domestic banks and 121 other financial firms. Banks and other lenders would start to lend less, potentially, leading to what's known as a credit crunch, where companies struggle to borrow. We saw that very vividly during the global financial crisis when the financial system nearly came to a screeching halt. That would be bad news for China's economic growth, and global investors may then get nervous, wondering which other companies are living on borrowed money and time. This could then have knock-on effects on other emerging markets too, because investors just lose confidence. What happens from here is consequential not only to the Chinese economy, where there are concerns about liquidity pressures and stress in the property and interbank markets, but for the global economy. China's government has told Evergrande to avoid defaulting on its payments. Many people will be hoping the company will be able to meet its liabilities. 